Well, I tell you, talking about extremes in the weather, that brings to mind long ago, way back in 1935, we had a winter where roughly from the holidays clear into late March, the temperature was never much above 30 below. And uh, on top of that cold winter, we, 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 got, we got into an extremely hot summer. It was hot and it was dry. We had not, hardly ever any rain. In fact, no rain at all. And from, if I remember properly, from about May to August, the temperature never dropped much below 90 degrees. And the yield, of course, it was likewise. It was very poor. If I remember properly, our, ourselves, we only had about three bushels an acre average, which is nothing. So today, of course, it's only a memory, so I, I can smile over that. <laughs> Behind Hans Reinhardt's enthusiasm for the land, there is concern over the future of his farm. By Dakota standards, his equipment is modest and his acreage small. So small, in fact, that with the way things are going, it might be impossible for his son to take the farm over as a worthwhile concern. The fact is that, in a way, the land is too good. It is so well suited to machines that there is nothing to stop the large, highly mechanized units from sweeping the board. Father and son working the family farm, sooner or later, may become just another one of those quaint old things of the past. How's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good. Oh. Why don't you bring me over a sample from there and see what you think? I think it feels kind of tough. What do you think? Don't you think so? I don't know. Well, let's see. I don't know. It doesn't seem so bad. I don't know. It feels pretty... It feels kind of tough to me, the one uh -huh. when you put your hand in the green in the well, box. Well, maybe we should send Mama into town and have a sample test. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, I just hope that it isn't going to rain. I yeah, know. It's lightning like crazy over there. It's awfully cloudy. Oh, no. I know. Well, let's hope for the best. Yeah, okay. That's all that we can do. If it don't rain, I'll meet you someplace over there. All right. Okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, fine. Shoveling the last few grains of the harvest out of the truck, according to Hans Reinhardt, is one of the few real chores left for him to do. The rest, he says, is out of his hands. Whether it be cutting the grain, harvesting it, lifting it, drying it, shifting it or storing it, there is a machine to take over. It's not until the closing stages of the harvest, when the loads of grain are hauled into land,